what is up everybody it's ben sandwich and i am going to show you by viewer request how to install and download cinders mod for dark souls 3. really this works with any mod i mean certain mods are different in that the install method is a little different so if you have any questions regarding a different mod or you want to see how another you know something else is actually installed and and applicable leave a comment and let me know otherwise if you enjoy this video be sure to like subscribe all that good shit and if you do enjoy dark souls gameplay and mod gameplay check out my channel i've got every mod on there that i've covered all the overhauls at least um so without further ado let's get into it the first thing that i'm gonna say is make sure that you have a vanilla save on your dark souls 3 game and what I mean by that is literally start the game fresh, make a bullshit character, start the game, get past the first cutscene, and then just exit out. They just the mod needs to have something to latch onto. So what I'm gonna do here is um just so you guys kind of go through it with me, I'm going to delete the mod out of my game file and just do it over so you guys see exactly how so and that's another thing too if you ever want to take the the mod off there's there's a couple of different ways you can do it for one you can do what i'm doing which is verifying the integrity of the files through steam and what that does is it looks at the game folder and it's like oh shit there's files in here that don't belong also known as the mod files so it deletes them and it restores all the original settings and all that good shit uh, the other method is you can go into your game file and there's one specific file. It's called dinput8.dll and I'll show you all this here in a little bit, but you just literally move that file out or delete it and boom, you're back to vanilla. So it's actually a really simple process. Um, it's just a matter of, of doing it in the order that I do it. So. As soon as this gets done, we will get started. This is the longest part about it. And uh, all of the things that I'm going to be using, I'll have a link in the description. So it's going to be 7-Zip and a uh, link to Nexus Mods. All right, so we are back to vanilla. Now, next thing I'm going to do is get 7-Zip, which, like I said, I will have a link in the description for this. But if you want to do it yourself go to google go to 7-zip and what you're going to want to do is download the exe for your pc so i would do 64-bit you just install it or you download it and then you just install it it's an easy simple wizard and you're good to go so from there we are going to go to nexus mods which again i will have a link in the description for this now this is the overview page it just kind of tells you what they did with the overhaul uh and there is worth mentioning little bit of installation instructions here which is good enough for most people but you know if you're not really tech savvy or you haven't done this before don't feel bad that's why i'm walking you through it so we're going to go to the files tab here now you're going to want to download all three of these you're going to want to do the main you're going to want to do the models and then the setup you need all these I would recommend doing them all now, download them all now, but we are going to work with each file individually. So I've already downloaded them, so I'm not going to do it again. You simply click the download, and then you it's going to have a fast or a slow. The fast is for people who pay for a Nexus Mods account. Uh, the slow isn't much different, and it's free, so I would recommend that. So once you have it downloaded, go ahead and make a new folder on your desktop by go right clicking go to folder or i'm sorry right click go to new go to folder and name it cinders or you can name it whatever you want i just named mine cinders so we have an empty folder here right next thing go to your file explorer and go wherever the downloads are that you downloaded and with now that we have seven zip they should look something like this now this is super important we're going to do the main first. So you just double click the main folder, the main file that we downloaded. It's going to bring this file up. You simply just want to click it 
the whole thing and drag it into your cinders. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes, maybe not, maybe really fast, depends on your PC. All right, once that is done, close out of this, minimize this. And this is what I meant when I said we are going to work with one, one file first so we don't get cluttered. So if you open up your senders file, you should have a senders folder and it's going to have all this shit in it. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and X out of that. And you need to pull up your game directory for Dark Souls 3. Now there's a couple ways to do this. The easiest way is to go to your Dark Souls 3 on Steam. Hit the little cog wheel right here. Go to properties. Go to local files. Local files. Browse. This is going to pull up your Dark Souls 3 game directory. So it'll be SS, it'll be your C drive or whatever drive it's installed on. Program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Dark Souls 3. And here we are in the game. So you want to double click the game file. And this is where we will be working. So first thing you want to do is open up your senders file that we just put all the main folder in. And let me do this so you guys can see. All right, so this is our senders file. This is our game file. Let me go ahead and delete these out. So I thought I already did this. Disregard what I'm doing here. I'm just deleting the mod off of this. So we have a fresh... All right, so we are back. Here is the senders folder where we have the main folder that we downloaded. This is our game file. Super simple. Click the senders folder, drag it to your game file. Don't now you just want to kind of put it in here. You don't want to hover over anything. You just want to put it in here. All right. After that, close out your desktop that we had made. It should be empty now because we just put it in the game file. Now go back to your downloads where we had the models, which was the second file from Nexus that we downloaded. You double click it. It's going to open up at 7-zip. You have another senders folder. So you want to click it, do the same thing, put it in your desktop folder we made. This is going to take a little longer, being it is a lot more, there's a lot more files in it. Here we are at the end. Come on. All right. So now you want to exit out of this. Minimize your downloads. Open up the senders file again. And same thing. You just want to literally click it. Drop it into your game. And what it does is it... Now, like, same thing. You don't want to hover over nothing. You just want to literally click it and put it into the game file. After we do that, go ahead and close out senders. Go back to your downloads. And the last step is the setup file that we have from Nexus. Double click it. And you just want to highlight. Now, the readmes, I'm going to mention this because it's important. The readme is always in stuff like this. And I would take a look through it just because it has some explanations about the mod and it tells you how to do what I'm doing right now. And here's some important stuff. If you want to play online, this is what it is. So by default, the mod launches in offline mode. So no matter what, you're going to pop the game on. It's going to be in offline mode. That way you don't get banned. Because if you play online with uh, mods, you will be banned. Now, Dark Souls isn't... There's no online for it right now, but this is, you know... This could be in the future when it gets, you know, back established or whatever. So, go ahead and exit out of that. All we want to do is click... I'm so, click and drag... Mode, mod engine, hoodie patcher INI, hoodie patcher DLL, and didn't put a DLL. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go right from here, click it, drag it into our game vault. And that is it. You now have senders installed. And just to show that it works, we're going to launch it. And the way that you can tell is 
on the home screen, it will show the senders 2.15 right here. This is how you know that it worked. And there's another step that you can check. And it's just um, once you, you log in and you're creating your character, you can tell if it worked by the new classes that are there and the new uh, armor and stuff like that. So if something went wrong, uh, you'll know because it'll look fucking jacked and, you know, it's an obvious fix. So that, my friends, is how you install Cinder's mod. And again, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any other suggestions on tutorial videos on how to install mods or anything like that. So appreciate y'all stopping in and I will catch you on the next one.